no switch no power supply nothing is there but a wonderful concept is to just take one magnet take this type of a coil take this magnet insert in this, inside that coil take it outside if you repeatedly take inside and outside automatically current is produced in the coil that's a wonderful thing here that is called as electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction without any power supply without battery nothing charging is not there just one coil one magnet without power supply we can produce electricity so when you take to and fro it will show deflection here voltmeter will show deflection what does it mean electromotive force is developed inside the coil electromotive force the force which motivate the electrons to move forward is called as electromotive force the force which motivate the electrons to move forward once the electron moves forward electricity is produced so emf means not a technical word like foreign word like that it's electromotive force generally the best way to understand physics is just to find out uska naam kya hai uska matlab kya hai then na ka naam karan de uska chal de indu beta pair naam ka matlab samajh mein aata pura concept automatic se guess kar sakte hain kya hai isme so electromotive force is developed here now see next thing is a to and fro motion of this magnet creates a electromotive force now faraday's law what is the meaning of faraday's law see here i am taking one magnet i am taking one coil this magnet is having magnetic lines of flux okay so these are called as magnetic lines of flux this is a coil you can just see here when you take this magnet very close to the coil more lines are linked more magnetic flux lines will be linked when you take away less magnetic lines are flux is linked whenever faraday's law says that whenever magnetic lines of flux linked with the coil changes and emf is induced in the coil whenever magnetic lines of flux linked with the coil changes then emf is induced in the coil you a beautiful example abhi main kya kar raha hu duri se haath duri se rakho ha sadan se kya kar raha hu हाथ को ले आकर तुम्हें खरीब ले आ मारता तो ना हो फिर दूर ले आ फिर खरीब ले आ ऐसा जैसे कि मार रहा डरा दे रहा तुम्हारे और थोड़ी देर ऐसी करा था मैं क्या होता तुम्हारे गुस्सा था खूब गुस्सा ना हाँ इफ आई टेक माई हैंड टू एंड फोर एज इफ आई एम बीटिंग बाई चांस एक बार हिट हो गया तो क्या होता इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स विल भी डेवलप आई एम मोटिवेटिंग यू टू बिकम एंग्री करेंट पास होगा करंट पास कर गुस्सा आया राइट और नॉट चुप के रहा तो क्या भी नहीं होता वो क्यों टाइम था सडनली आई एम मेकिंग यू शॉक बाय डूइंग ऑल दिस थिंग ऐसा बोल रहा हूँ कभी मारता तो ना हूँ ऐसा बोल कर ले राइट और नॉट समटाइम्स जस्ट ऐसा करते रहते गाड़ी पे जाते जाते ऐसा करते मैं सामने सामने बोल रहा है मैं कुछ आ रहा हूँ तो राइट और नॉट सो सडनली वी आर डूइंग एक्शंस Uh, we are neither hitting but just making him irritated so we are irritating it so emf is developed in that electromotive force is developed just if you keep a magnet without any to and fro motion no no flux is developed no current flows in the coil when you take to and fro motion when the flux linking is changed maximum and minimum maximum and minimum then an emf is produced either keep a magnet like that coil you move then also magnetic flux is linked with be changing keep a coil at rest magnet you take to and fro then also emf is developed when you move both our aim is magnetic lines of flux should change then only emf is produced there are many methods for that not only this method this method also you can take how to keep a coil now like this more lines are passing you rotate like this less lines are passing you keep cross see first you keep like this you keep like this total lines are passing you keep like this few lines are passing you keep horizontal nothing are passing again slowly increasing again minimum again maximum again minimum now this also producing current now 
you can use any method but the concept is the magnetic flux linked with the coil has to change ab tum kis tarah se that concept dhang se karo emf is produced theek hai ha aisa bhi kar sakte area hai na iska area ko kam kar rahe zyada kar rahe kam kar rahe zyada kar rahe if area also changes then also emf is produced udhar chak rahe na ghuma rahe na aage piche kar rahe kuch bhi nahi kar rahe but area you are decreasing like this then also emf is produced you change the area then also emf is produced our aim is magnetic lines linked with the coil should change whatever may be the method you use okay so this is called as faraday's law what is the faraday's law actually telling change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil induces an emf in a coil both easy definition the easiest definition in the world has both books mein bahut complex hai these are the easiest definition in the world i think change in magnetic flux linked to the coil induces an emf in the coil induces means forcibly creating hmm now it is government is inducing new rules bol monetization kya bolte ho 2000 ki note introduce karna wo path note theory inducing means forcibly creating understood what i am telling ha so here we are creating electromotive force what is this electromotive force doing it is forcing the electron to move inside the coil current is produced it is showing deflection understood so this is the first law what is the second law here the emf induced across the coil is equal to rate of change of flux what is the meaning of rate of change of flux i'll tell you about that see rate of change of flux means you are doing slowly rate of change of flux is less you take close more lines link take away less lines link take closer more lines link this is very slow rate emf produces very less now i am making it faster more lines less lines more lines rate is increasing rate ko to paisa nahi tha time in less time more frequency i am doing frequency of going to and move from motion is increased then what happens more emf is developed that is the meaning of second law second law says that the rate of change of flux increases emf is also increasing would you want to observe one thing here negative sign is there what is the meaning of that negative sign see negative sign is explained by lenz law okay so negative is explained by lenz law so what is this lenz law explained the direction of induced current is always opposite opposite to the direction of motion of the magnet what does it mean you know see here if north pole comes closer let me give you one smaller example easier example this is a coil and this is a magnet north pole is going towards the coil then what happens you know when north pole goes towards the coil in this coil current flows in anti clockwise direction in this coil when north pole moves closer in this coil current flows in anti clockwise direction actually coil aisa nahi rehta aisa rehta closer anti clockwise direction it moves and then what is going to happen anti clockwise direction like this Okay. Like this, anti-clockwise direction. What does it mean? Whenever anti-clockwise direction current flows, that means it is going to become north pole. Understood? So, what does it mean? When north pole comes closer, current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction. This is going to become north pole. This is going to become south pole. South pole. So I am converting a coil into a magnet by using some other magnet. This is not a coil now; it's going to convert into a magnet. When north pole comes closer, similar pole is created, and it tries to oppose the north pole. Repulsion starts, and that is opposite direction. No, that's the reason we write negative sign here. It opposes the change produced. कुछ भी change करो oppose करो. Now. When it comes closer, when north pole comes closer, it creates north pole. When south pole comes closer, it creates south pole. When south pole, इसको उल्टा करके नजदीक लेके जाओ. Current flows in a clockwise direction. Current flows in a clockwise direction becomes a south pole. Again, it opposes the south pole. But 
opposite to that. When you take this magnet away from the coil, it becomes opposite pole. Try to attract. Khari bara ane ne deta, dur jara jane ne deta. Koi follow na? Is it clear? Degar koshte, raniya do duram pote poniya. Degar koshte apur repulse sari, duram pote apur attract sari. It comes closer, it opposes. It goes far, it tries to attract. So anyhow, it has to do opposite thing. Dur gaya to opposite direction me khista. Nazdi gaya to opposite direction me pushta kara. That is negative sign. Why there is a negative sign here? E. E is equal to minus d phi by dt. Why we have taken d phi by dt? Negative sign here. That is explained by Lenz law. Rate of change of flux is directly proportional to EMF. It is explained by Faraday. But negative sign explained by Lenz. Lenz law. Hope you understood this one. Okay. Clear?